Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities uh, Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you who are, who are seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We try to do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. And uh, uh, we've, we're over a thousand audios now, so stuff of uh plenty of stuff for you to check out this is our life lesson series if life is trying to teach us things but we're not paying attention this series can be helpful i encourage you to check out uh, the series we this is number 118 so uh and also if you're looking for a life relationship business coaching or any point in between would love to be helpful to you in that way as well um a couple ways we can do that certainly first would be if you were to look at the possibility of connecting um, through at PO Perception on Twitter and or through the About Me section of this YouTube page. In any event, um, the first thing is be practical with what you're doing. Have a strategy that's going to work to your advantage. It doesn't necessarily mean take no risks, but practical means taking calculated risks. What can I afford to lose, whether that be time-wise, money-wise, um, relationship wise how can i afford to lose whatever it's going to require me to sacrifice to make this thing come together the next thing is turn your hobby into a side business at least partially now the reason that's important and notice i didn't say full business um is because sometimes your hobby isn't meant to be a full business but when we turn our hobbies into side businesses or things that we're willing to make some money with we also can Look at our ability to make money differently for the future. In other words, if I like guitar and I teach a couple of people lessons uh, for free, but I also charge a couple of people who are willing to pay, I'm going to look at the art of teaching guitar differently. And I'm also going to see myself as someone who can create revenue with things they enjoy for the future. Whereas if I never go into that way, then I'm not going to get where I want to be in terms of quality of life because I'm going to label work as something that always feels hard or always feels difficult the next thing is be all into everything you do that means be attentive be alert be aware know your weaknesses know your strengths know the things that matter to you and the things that don't i know it sounds weird to say know the things that don't matter to you but if you're not a relationship person own that if this is the phase in your life where you're really committed to being corporately minded own that too know who you are and also know who you're not the more you're willing to own who you are and not get rid of who you're not, but kind of just balance that and look and go, well, hmm, maybe I need to see myself differently in order to get through this moment. The easier it'll be to actually enjoy your daily life rather than try to be something that uh, isn't really who you are. The next is understand that life is a game and we're all to some degree actors now i'm not meaning to say don't take life seriously but what i mean is look sometimes we win sometimes we lose sometimes we make bad moves but we can always recover in most games you don't necessarily get a do-over but the more strategic you are the more approachable you are to learning different things the easier it is to recover in life when you look at life as this is the definition of my identity. If, if a relationship works, if a job works out, if if this happens, if that happens, then you're really going to struggle in that way. Understand that it's useful to create content or add something to the world. So always look for ways to contribute, whether that be online, offline, whether that be with a hobby, whether that be with um, just giving time to people, giving energy to people, giving good thoughts, giving ideas, a listening ear, whatever it is. Be willing to give on a consistent basis to improve the quality of not only your life, but the the ability you have to make life better for yourself as well. The next thing to consider is be willing to make new rules. Look, if the rules of the game you're playing or the life you're living aren't working for you, who says you have to follow the old rules? Obviously, there are laws, and laws and rules are different. Internal rules we can change at any time. Obviously, laws we don't want to break because legal consequences aren't worth it in most scenarios. But at the same time, if if your internal rules say you have to spend every Sunday with your family, but you're sick on Monday, you're sick on Monday because 
as I get an emergency warning on my phone. Um, anyway, so, you know, there's, if, if you have that challenge, if you have that issue, it's worth taking a look at kind of, uh, connecting in a, in a deep, uh, way. So just kind of look at that from a different perspective and understand your value. The next thing is just kind of look for new rules and look for the rules that work for you that make, um, you know, maximum, uh, maximum ultimate me uh, benefit. So hopefully this is helpful. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.